Welcome to the Quick Start Video tutorial for the basics of the Maps page. To get started, you need to set a location using the zoom bar on top. You can search for an address, and it will zoom to that location with an icon to identify your address. You can also search for geographies, like zip codes, counties, or states. From the drop-down menu, you can search for predefined geographies like census tracts, congressional districts, or metro areas. After finding your location, you can zoom in and out using the zoom bar on the right or pan around the map by clicking and dragging within the map. Once you have the map set to a location, you can now begin to add data onto the map by selecting a category from the top. There are two types of data on policy map. Data layers are thematic or heat maps, and data points are addresses or point level data sets. We will start with a data layer. After selecting a data layer, the map title is a simple sentence of the current data. Click the title to see a full description of the data and link to the data directory for more information. The legend will explain the data on the map, showing you the year displayed, the variable, geography, and range for the colors. So in our example, the darkest purple are census tracts with a median income of 76,000 or more, while the lightest purple are tracks with an income of 32,000 or less. At any time, you can click onto the shaded area on the map to get the exact values. The legend will also allow you to customize the data on the map. You can change the year, the variable or how the data is displayed, or even the geography that the data is shaded by. Subscribers can change the colors, edit how many ranges, or even have the unique ability of creating their own cut points for the ranges displayed. Another way to look at data on policy map is through point data sets or addresses. Data points allow you to overlay icons on top of thematic maps. Once a point data set is added, the legend will show the icon for that data set and give you the ability to search or even filter points. You can click onto any icon to display additional information for that address. Finally, you can save and print your work by selecting the symbols on the top right. Save will save your maps to your My Policy Map account, while print will also save, but give you the option to print or download a PDF, PNG, or JPEG. The Quick Start is a great way to learn the basics of Policy Map, but we suggest you attend our online trainings, which are free. Go to the support page for the training calendar and guides, but for more information, please email us at info at policymap.com or call us at 866-923-6277. Thank you.